We're here at the 22nd Annual International Scientific Conference at the Mercure Hotel in Frankfurt, Germany. Yesterday we had an international branch meeting that was uh, very productive, and today we are listening to scientific presentations by some of the leading professionals in the field of myelin research. Okay, my name is Frank Schreiber. I'm the president of the Myelin Project in Germany. And we had the Milan Project meeting here, and we want to try to keep the contact with the scientists and, and our board members so that we have a good coordination between um, the funds or the money we have that we can spend on a research project to find, to try, try and find um, things to make some, some new therapies for the, the people affected with the demyelinating disease. Don't, don't start like that. <laughs> My name is Patty Chapman, and I am president of the Myelin Project in the United States. I've been involved with the Myelin Project since 1989, when it was founded by Michaela and Augusto Odoni. Thank you, guys. Hello, I'm Charles. Hi, I'm Harry, and we are trustees of the British Myelin Project. We both have ALD, and you may remember us from the end of Lorenzo's Oil. Well, my name is Ian Duncan. I am the Scientific Advisory Board Chairman for the Myelin Project in the US and internationally. I'm a neuroscientist at the University of Wisconsin in Madison and I work on myelin disease, understanding how myelin disease develops and genetic and acquired disease and working on strategies to repair the damage in myelin disease. So I think today offered us great hope for the possibility that that some of these diseases will be treatable within a relatively short space of time. However, we cannot f forget that they are very complicated and very difficult medical scientific problem, problems. And for some of them, there may never be a therapy. For others, there may be therapies that are combined therapies involving replacement of enzyme, replacement of cells. But I think uh, there's such interest in new research going on worldwide that there is real hope that uh, big advances will be made within the next five years.